Those who are strong spiritually are the people who don't talk. But as a lesson to mankind, so that what happened in the past will never, never again be repeated. Maybe to tell me that God will only speak to you and not speak to me, that's, that's robbery. Mm. We are all his children. Even the Bible is written to inform us how our fathers worshipped God through different forms of libations mm -hmm. and offerings. So why would God send his son to come and die? He didn't die for us. Can you imagine say, oh, 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 Welcome to Elmina. Elmina is my next location. I'm right here at the entrance of Elmina and I'm seeing straight that is Elmina Castle for you. Come on, follow me. Let's go and enjoy Elmina Castle. Today, I'm here with Asasia. Mama Evelyn Watson and I subscribe, subscribe. Let's go in there and enjoy Elmina Castle. Normally, when you come here to do the tour, mm. uh, we receive you, put you in the museum for 5 to 10 minutes, 15 minutes you read, after that we do the tour. Okay. But this is a special program, so I'm going to start straight with the introduction, yeah. so you can have a seat. Thank you. Yeah, yeah my name is Kofi uh, Robert Kube, director of Nina Castle. Uh, we are going to walk for 45 to 1 hour. And before we start, I'll give you a short introduction about the place. Now, take a look at this photograph. Uh, this is an area view of Almina Township. Okay. It is a fishing community. There is a river here. People say it's a lagoon. Benya Lagoon or River. It entered the sea here. Wow. So this place is a harbor. Almina Fishing Harbor. Now, on top of the hill, we have Fort St. Jago. Mm. Fort St. Jago. Mm -hmm. And Jago means James, okay. built by the Dutch in 1665 by the soldiers to protect the castle. This is for the Portuguese, this is for the Dutch. Okay. Now there is a factory here, fish processing factory. A grant from India, they built this one for Kanye 10 years ago. Okay. Another factory here, Star East, Tuna. The mother companies are Kratama, they open a branch here, they buy fish for the harbor said to Tama to process. You can see tears or jetty or wharf where the ship dock. And they move the slaves from the point of no return into the ship. And that time the sea was touching the castle. It's now a city. It's a natural phenomenon. Now we call the house Almina Castle or dungeon. It was built by the Portuguese in 1482. They came here in 1471 to trade and spread Christianity. The system of trade was butter, a change of goods, for goods no money. They brought tobacco, ammunition, beverages, liquor, used clothing, matches, and then mirror. And they were looking for gold, ivory, then spices, pepper, ginger, and coke. So the rate and sweet our locals here were giving the Portuguese gold in essence of tobacco and the wine gave the Portuguese an impression that the land here was full of gold. So they named this place El Mina, meaning the mine, gold mine. It has been corrupted by our local people as Almina, it's a Portuguese western local name. Now, there is another name for Elmina, Elmina, meaning the mine, gold mine. Another name for Elmina, you heard it before, Edina, 
Dilaya is also putting his way. Aldea. Aldea, meaning village. Okay. And that one told people couldn't pronounce it. And they call it Dila Dila. We had a name before the Portuguese came. In that time, we call Alnina Anumasan. 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 This is a local name. Anuma. Anumasan. Yeah. You drink the water, the water will not finish. In the source water because of the river. So when the Portuguese came here, they lived along the coast and the tents, when the trade was flourishing, they needed a place to protect the trade and the missionaries. So they went to the then chief of Alumansa, called Nana Kwamina Ansa, and negotiated for this portion of the land to build a castle. Initially, the chief refused to give them the land. He told them that the sea and the land are friends. Mm. The sea comes here, goes back. He added that differences in culture and lifestyle would be a problem. People are better friends if they don't live together. Mm. But instead, see each other occasionally. This is what the chief told them. Mm. They persuaded him. And one day, this land was given to them free. There. So they built the castle in 1482 under the command of Don Diego de Zambuja. So in the 16th century, that was 1500, Portuguese converted the train to slavery. They lived here for 155 years. 1637, they were captured by the Dutch. Hmm. The Dutch initially were at a village we call Buri, 20 kilometers from here. Hmm. They came here on two occasions through the sewer session to attack the Portuguese, but they were defeated. 1637, our locals here went to the forest, to the village, Mori, and directed the Dutch this way to come and attack the Portuguese. They did that for three main reasons. One, they thought when the Dutch came here, that would be the end of the slave trade. Two, the scale that they used to weigh the gold was tempered by the Portuguese, so the local people feel cheated. Portuguese passed a new law called Regimental Law, mm. which was not in the favor of the local people. The law said that if you trade with any other European apart from the Portuguese, one of your ears would be cut off and be prison. So through the help of Alamina people, Portuguese were attacked. The Dutch came here. They continued with the slave trade. So they were in the house for 235 years. 1871, British also came here from Cape Coast Hassan to attack the Dutch. The Dutch British were defeated. So 1872, through negotiation, the Dutch sold the castle to the British. And left. When the British came here, slavery was abolished. So they used the castle as a sub administrative center. And they trained young African Mekid as soldiers mm. to fight for them in Burma and then in India during the Second mm. World well, War. We call the Royal West African Frontier Force. So British were here for 85 years. And then 1957, Ghanaians took over. We had independence. We are here for 66 years. So this castle is 541 years old. Yeah, it is the biggest and oldest edifice in sub-Saharan Africa in connection the slave trade. I said that when the British came here, slavery was abolished. But it doesn't mean that they didn't take but they did. He used Cape Coast Castle. Another fourth slave trade here for administration. Now they brought the slaves from the hinterland. You know, that time we were not having Togo, Ghana, mainly just a stretch of forest. We live in tribes. We had regions. Uh, Battle of Biafra, today Nigeria. Nigeria. Battle of Benin, Senegambia, Upper Guinea, Gold Coast, West Central. So we are all Bantus. Yeah. At that time, no vehicle, no car. They walk barefooted, crossing rivers for two months before they came here. 
it is spent 10 to 12 weeks waiting for the sheep. Because the sheep were not having a sheep, the you sail mm. went out to them some time to come. When they were coming, they made a stop over at uh, a sea so where we have the slave river. They shaved them, they bathed the river before they brought it to the false castle. Yeah, yeah. Now, there were four main sources of getting the slaves. Acquisition, it progressed in stages. Initially, Europeans collaborated with Africans, capturing other Africans. It was very dangerous. If you see a white man, if a black man walking together, you have to start fighting. They capture you. Hmm. So, you have to fight. So, they stopped. And then engage the Africans. And then emerge the slave raiders. Strong men. Trained by the repairs with guns. They were moving around. They would come to your house one day and burn the house first to capture you. The wife and the children brought here. Africans were doing their business. Now, there were a series of tribal wars among the Africans. Africans were fighting over lands and rivers just expand their territory. So then there was a war between two groups. They were defeated. Some of the members were going to be captured and so into slave prisoners of war. Mm. The last one, our own local chiefs, also sold some people in their communities. Those who do something wrong, you'll be summoned to the palace to pay a fine of a bottle of local deal we call accreditation. Because there was market here, you'll be taken away. Criminals were sold in the community. Debtors, we sold them. Mm. Now, the whole slave trade started when the Americans and the Caribbean allies were founded by the European settlers. Mm. They set up plantations, large scale plantations. No machines that could do the job. So labor became an issue. Initially, they used the native Indians to work. Unfortunately, they were dying of diseases. Diseases that Europeans sent to the land. Mm -hmm. And they tried European endangered servants. Mm. They were also dying of the harsh working conditions. So there was a priest, a Roman father, a reverend. Called Bartolomeo de las Casas. Yeah, you know him. He was a Spanish. He suggested that they should try some of the Africans who were excellent in agriculture and hard working and compared in a similar climatic conditions who worked harder. So, 50 over. Some Africans were taken from Portugal to Americas. But they tried them and they proved. Physical history, this part of the young slave hmm. It means that Africans were only working in Portugal as domestic servants, not slaves. It was 20 years later before they started taking people on the West Coast. And the first slave market in the world was in Portugal. At the time, they called Lagos. People called it Lagos. It was opened in 1444. For the sale of the African, they call him Mikado the Esclavos. Before the Europeans came, we also had some form of slavery here in Africa. And we call it indentured servitude or power for the debt. Those days in Africa, if you owe somebody, you don't have the means to pay, you can gather your children to the person to work for the period of time. After servicing the debt, the children will return. They will marry their own property. And they were fed regularly. They were not cheap. They live in the same room with the masters. But if you compare it to what happened here, it was not different for them. When they capture you, they chain you, lock you in the den, you belong to somebody. And sometimes people tell that we had slavery before the European scheme. They are not the same. Originally, Africans were not slaves. We were free people. African history did not start with slavery, but conquest, royalties, resources, and exploration. That is the background. Kofi is my name. Kubwa Roberts, director of Castle. Thank you for coming.
Yeah. When he said originally, Africans had a form of exchange for yeah. if you borrow money from somewhere you're not able to pay, you send your children. Yeah, you, say, oh. you owe someone. So, yeah. You just send your children. They work for a period of time. Mm. And then these are things that are written in the Bible. They are in the scripture. It, oh. that, it, that was the way of our fathers, how they lived in communities. Yeah. Even if the slave come to work with you, sometimes they'll say after seven years, the, when they work for six years, the seventh year, you have to free that person yeah. to go. If the person says, I want to live here continually, you let the person leave, but now becomes like a part of your family. It's all in the Bible. And that is why I'm saying that this is our father's way of life, encoded, and it has been used now, edited, some have been taken out, some have been added, just to form a, a, a book of, of, of mental slavery. That is why I keep saying we are treating this physical slavery of our fathers and our mothers, but the greater slavery that we need to bring down is our mental slavery. The male slaves were here, you know, they separated, they were not together. Female slave dungeon up there, the male dungeon. So, like the, the middle, like this? Or something. No, apart from the two cells here, you can see rooms around this way, in the down from the castle. Okay, so All okay, kind of about nine way. rooms uh, were for the men, and they were 600. 600? Yeah, uh, and the women, 400. Okay. Thousands left at a time, in any given time, thousands. Now, initially, all these rooms that you see here were used as tall rooms, okay. warehouses where they kept their goods. Okay. The Portuguese started slavery and they turned them as dungeons. When they became very weak, they brought them out here. They received sunshine, they moved them back. Now, the governor of the castle lived up there, the last floor. Okay. Followed by his deputy, we have soldiers, uh, doctors and uh, soldiers this way. Doctors and nurses, quarters, missionaries, and the merchants. Slaves were down. The structure you see here was a church, Portuguese church, uh, uh, the first Roman Catholic church in the Gold Coast. There were long, long towers with a cross. Roman, Roman Catholic, Catholic church in the Gold Coast. Coast. Yeah. Yeah. There were long, long towers with a cross. The dad took over, they removed the towers. They put up a new church here called Dutch Reform Church. And they said they were Protestants. Okay. Two big churches. Out of the, the Catholic yeah. Church. You have you a, got uh, yeah, a Protestant. Protestant church, yeah. Okay. Look at the wall here. This Lanty wall, it is called Batres. Okay. Yeah. And there's a similar one in the corner. And the, the back were made for reinforcements so that the castle will not collapse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The iron rays were put in. For the English, for their soldiers, they climbed them for training to make them strong. Okay. Now there is a room here with a skull and the crossbones. That was the cell of no return. Okay. That was the sign of yeah, no the cell, cell of yeah, no prison return. of no return. The cell of no return. We had the room of no return here, the cell of no return. We we'll see the difference. Okay. Two separate. Let's compare them. Okay. okay. Yeah. This, this yeah, we, we cell is this. You can see the top here. Look at this place. Two cells. We are now in the cell. Prison. This cell has two windows. You can see them here. Yeah. Look at the gates. It's original from Portugal. And here is one ventilator. You can feel the bricks. Yeah. It was designed for the European soldiers who misbehaved. Okay. They moved from here to town without permission and authority. They took a call, got drunk. When they returned, they went to the female slaves, beating them, raping them. When the officers caught them, they put them here for a few hours and they were set free. Few hours. Ampa, ventilation, European cell, less in African cell. You see the difference? Yes. And the cell of no return or condemned cell. Or yeah. African cell. The scar and the crossbones. Portuguese put them there, the gates. Danger. Now you can see some holes on the gate here. They were put here for the soldiers to look through 
and remove dead bodies. Not necessary for ventilation. So the male slaves who fought for their freedom, when they got them, they put them here. No food, no water. Starvation. Many, many people died here. They lifted the bodies, passed stones here, mm. throw into the sea. And those slaves, the majority came from Ghana here. There is a village here we call Abanze and Kromanze, always fighting. In Americas and the Caribbean, they call them Kromanze Negroes, the Maroons. Mm. Yeah. Now, we have a plaque here. Uh, this is an OO Dutch. It was put here in the memory of a Dutch governor. He also came here to trade. We call him Governor Van Tex. Van is missing here. He was the last director, general of West Indies Company over the north and south coast of Africa. He came here on the 16th January 1758. Died on the 12th March, the same year, at the age of 41. And this governor came from Zealand. Uh, one of the promises he heard, he died out of malaria. He was buried down here. So we're in the cemetery. This is a great. Now, when the governor died here, there was a pastor in the house preaching the Bible. We call him A. Andresi. He came from Veer, one of the cities here in Holland. Pastor wrote something short here, you can see it, in the memory of this governor. He said he was a God fearing man. Hmm. An honest person and a noble man. But to me, at the, at the time of slavery, this man came here, he also took part. So it is only the pastor who can explain this point. Hmm. The governor is lying down here. Mosquitoes kill him. Now, uh, one of the dungeons for the men. Yeah. For the men. 120 men were here at the time. 120. This is not the original for this cement. I'll show you the mm -hmm. original from. Now this room here, it is called Brandy Room. Trademark. Okay. For, this is where they branded yeah, them. Yeah, for easy identification, they put metal into fire here. And that was the branded room for the men. Uh, female slaves were not branded. They gave the tag on the neck for identification. On the neck? Yeah, That's the tag, yeah. Okay. Initially, they were not taking the women. The first list of women. Okay. But later, they got to the women who do planting, harvesting, and also for slave inbreeding on okay. the plantation. So they started taking the women too. Okay. So when the ships came, all the men that survived here, they moved them. They were in chains. They passed through this place to the point of no return into the ship. Now, you watch your head first. Take one step down. And you walk. The floor is not smooth. Let me take the lead. It's rough. Take your time. Watch your head. No lights. Hmm. This was where the women descended. They no, yeah, they came down here. They occupied us as if we go in there. Mm -hmm. At first, we had steps. There okay. were steps. Now you can see the drainage system mm -hmm. with the rain. So at the gate here, they allowed the women to enter first so that the men couldn't get access to them in the ship. Everywhere they separated them. Okay. We go in there, you watch your head again. Here you count five before. You raise your hand. The wall is thick. Mm. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We are now in the point of no return. At first, the sea was here. We saw in the picture. 
is now receding, it's going back. It is due to the earth movement. So we have the remains of the jetty down there, the piers where the ship dock. They use small small boats, uh, taking the slaves from here into the bigger ships. They were sent to Americas, Caribbean, Europe, and some went to Java in Indonesia. So for 400 years of slave trade, according to the historians, 3 million Africans were captured through an amina dungeon. Two thirds died, and one third survived. Yeah. yeah, only one million. So most of them refused to eat and drink water. Some committed suicide because they didn't know where they were taking them to. No communication. Now you can see rigs and other materials in the back. They were placed here by the visitors, especially African Americans, in the memory of our sisters who died in the dungeon. So that this kind of atrocity committed against humanity will never ever again be repeated. Uh, we have this thing here, and this one is an apology put on a plaque. You know, in 1992, we had a program in Ghana we called Panafest, an African historical theater festival. So after the first celebration, a group of our local chiefs and the government came together and read this plaque as a mission statement of the tour here. It also serves as an apology to the Africans in the diaspora for the role our local chief play in the history of slavery here in Africa. An apology. I want to see, I want to see people then. So in the castle, wherever you see the yellow bricks, came from Holland. The brownies from Ghana here. Yeah, this is from Holland. Yeah, this is from Ghana here, and the red was from Portugal. There's a difference. It was built by 600 Portuguese soldiers, the castle, not the local people. The city on top of natural rock, the foundation, believed to be 200 meters down. So many years to stand it. 541 years old. So we are going to the female dungeon. Now, the women were here, and the total number 400. They were inside the dungeon. You can see the hinges there. There were wooden gates, always locked. They also came out here, received sunshine, but they became very weak. Now, the center here, we have water reservoir. It covered the whole yard here underground, rainwater. The water came through the roof. You can see two pipes on the wall. Down here they use stones, purify the water, transfer to this one. 20,000 gallons, but it is full. If you fall in, you can come back. You still have water here, we use this plastic to trap the water for white. It is not portable. This one is, there is no water in town here. We allow Almina people to draw the water for washing and bathing. Rain water. When the Dutch came here, you know, they fought to the Portuguese. They were afraid. They thought Portuguese might have poisoned this one. They abandoned it. They also put up two. One at the courtyard, another one down here. Three times bigger than this one each. 60,000, this is 20,000. Now, let's walk through the dungeons. We are now in the largest female dungeon. The largest one for the women. 150 ladies were here at a time. 150. No toilet facility. Here was full of toilets. Vomit, rain, blood. They slept here and ate here. Now there is a hole at the corner there, far in. 
it was put there for ventilation. They got fresh air from there. The walls are very thick. There's no air coming from this direction. They give them food two times a day. Corn, brown bread, millets, and rice and beans. Some eggs and some refuse to they prefer to that. Now there's a sad story here. You can see governors back on it. Because of the malaria, Europeans came here alone. They didn't bring women. They abused the female slaves sexually. The governor stood here, ordered the soldiers to open the gate. The women came out. He looked through, picked one. Soldiers fetched water for her to bath. They gave her food to eat. There's a staircase here. You can see the staircase here. It's connected up there to trap door. So she was forced by the soldiers to climb. They opened the door for her straight to the bedroom. When the ships came, they screened them. Those who were pregnant were set free. And they moved them to the Mina Township and delivered. Six years later, the children returned to the castle for education. So former education started in the Gold Coast here in the Mina Dengi, the fire schools, castle schools. Yeah, and organized one started in Cape Coast Dungeon. Here they opened the school in 1529 to train the Miss Rachel Book of the Mulattoes. And this is the main reason why today, if you walk in town along the coast, you see light color skin. You hear some names Van der Poy, Van Dyke, Bartard here, Ferguson, Tex, Villa. They are not our traditional names, European names. This place is weak. I will take you out so that we see the trap door. Now, this ball here, it is called canoe ball. Initially, we had eight with chains. There's a hole here, another hole down. Designed for punishment, very heavy. Any woman who resists a rape will be chained on the legs. You'll be standing here, shining or raining, no food for you, no water. Sometimes they ask them to live and they cane them. Recently we had three, someone came and stole two, is left with one for punishment. Very heavy. Two, yeah. So there were scraps. If you go to Cape Coast, you see more than 2,000. Here we have a single one left. <laughs> Scrap, if you carry this one to Tama this morning, you get plenty in New Ghana cities. You tie this don't, one. don't capture that one either. <laughs> if, no. you're ed- if you're editing, editing, don't capture this one. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's all I mean. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Now, these are the original floor. Uh, the slaves were sleeping on these bricks. No mat, nothing. So if you remove the cement now, you see something like this. As I told you earlier, this bricks came from Portugal. Holland, the branch from Ghana here. Original iron bars here, brought by the Portuguese, very, very heavy. You still have them. They were replaced by wood. At first, iron bars so that they would not escape. Now, you can see some materials on the floor here. Uh, they are not original. Ten years ago, we had a program here. Organized by University of Science and Technology Kumasi, volunteers from all over the world converge here. They try to reenact what happened in the past. They were just lying down here, both ladies and gentlemen, half dressed with these materials. They were in chains for three days. People also came from all over to view them here. They are saying that there is another form of slavery happening now. The machine human trafficking. A mm. final year student, history students to this topic as a project work. So professors were here to assess it. It was started the return of the slave. That's where you see the materials on the floor. They are not original. And um, let me just chip something in. Talking about the trafficking. Yeah. That's not the only slavery. Mm that we are currently suffering. 
We are suffering mental slavery. Colonization is over, but new colonization is still here with us. We are still enslaving ourselves different in different form. forms of mm -hmm. cultures, Electronic different culture. forms of uh, invention, different forms of religions, enslaving ourselves, our brothers, our sisters, our minds. We are just educating all of you, taking this store as an advantage to speak to you. You have to come here. You have to come here. Come and feel the atmosphere. Come and bear witness to the knowledge told as it is, not as you have been given through writings. Come and listen to it as it is. And bear witness to the fact that we have a long way to go and we must start now. In freeing our mentality, freeing ourselves from, I belong to this language, you don't belong to my language. I belong to this dialect, you don't belong to that dialect. I belong to this religion, you don't belong to this religion. What made them prosper in slave trade? You heard a man say, one of the reasons is because there were tribal wars, disputes. So if you are on the other side as an opponent, I can capture you and sell you to the foreigners. The physical slavery that our fathers and mothers witnessed started from their minds. The slavery was a promise to us, empty promise. By to Musa, Bibi Papa we took mirrors, we took clothings. Namenka say me inchiro, me katiro mo say our forefathers. The moon in the village in Yekani in our forefathers' history. These are the incredible symbols I had to watch any. Ne yakofa different different communications I see. I know ye abosomsom. I know and and ka ye hon oya awo unko nyamia hin ye mono. These were the things they were printing on fabrics. For the chiefs, yes, symbols, you know, they printed them on fabrics, on, on, on things that will entice us. So communication, I will not die until God dies. What do you say? Now, when they came, it was butter trade. Yes, he came here. He had physical exchange. Your mom go down, on my mind, son. Your mom will be on my mind, tobacco. On my mind, you will be at your side, and you will share. Exactly. That is the same thing that is happening here. Can you imagine say oh o sun nyankopon o nim se nyame na o sun no. Asasi so de wa ba o be ye djuma o hie sika wa ha o be to aduane o be to. No asisa gold ni nyina de egu suru. E na ye ko ha ni etietia so. O he. Form ha de ye ni bi. O ni bi. E na wo sika do do so a o ntimi ko ho. Because it is difficult for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. But it is easy for a poor man because they have the kingdom of God as their inheritance. Blessed are the poor. Yes, that is why you see your mentality, you know, it was see your fears here and there to set ourselves free from our minds. This is not time for blame game. This is not time to say they, they took us here, they put us here. No. This is time to rewrite our stories in the way our who say, we have freedom now because for me, still we are we don't have our freedom. Our freedom will be felt. The impact of our freedom, no. You be who a bride in your life here, say say. You are the one who will judge you. Me quite sorry way, who quite sorry way. If you need me near, you quite sorry. Me ma sorry me ni anko pon penti. I want of mama konan to go do so. Go do no. I want you to have a happy day. You want to be happy. Yes, the same move a form I was sort of saying you put it here so. Hmm. Let's reason. Reason wherever you find yourself, in every culture, in every religion, reason with what you are practicing. How will I reason? This is the principal thing. And no not saying reasoning thing. How do we do it? Programming, oh they be a cap programming. So we are all programmed. By asema ye catch the attitude. Ain't you know? Yes, see, se be any ho. Book be any ho. O be uncanny in Chirewa. Wahunim your conscience, which is connected to your God self. Unyamisuno. 
e wo conscience mu e ti conscience na ka kire wo se ade wo yi man ye ade wo yi ye so she is she is assume there is no bible there is no quran o be dey no yes that that mean you are not going to live paul say omo mu ni mara bia asem omo de omo ahunim ya conscience e ye mara de ma omo anka so mo that as so for be ade ye ni dia and so we will be at their end there is their conscience that is seven because conscience na your innate calculative ability to set settle what i want what i don't want what i want what i don't want what i want is both we are bet with it as gods as gods we are bet with it into who you be at their wouldn't you say na wo ye na say jene pa na wo de ya wouldn't you say jene pa na wo de ye dey you know you don't need to be told It is the genesis of getting your mind free is to unlearn everything that we've been told and relearn it from the conscious foundation. It is the Jesus said be born again. How do you become born again? By the renewing of the mind. For a journey that dana to go na pick it. A journey ni sin ani ameni nyina fufuro biem. Na she say what is in it for me? Anya dey ya ka kire me biem, but what I have experienced by myself. E bi ni ya dey We've heard our fathers our mothers went through slavery and yet they are kakeke we have come to witness yes. and feel the vibrations for ourselves so that tomorrow when you go you are saying you are saying it from a relationship perspective I felt them I heard them and yet obina say Now this symbol here is the logo for the Dutch West Indies company They use the smaller one to brand the slaves for identification. West Indies. The W. The W. So after we have two towers, we call them watch towers. Hmm. They were made for the soldiers to watch against enemies. Yeah, enemies were coming from the sea or session. When the British came here, they turned them as prisons. Today we call them Prempers Hall. Nana Akusia Juma Prempe the first. Was in prison for one year with two wives, the children, and the royal family. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah. four year. He was here with the wives and the, and the, and the children, and the fam family was here for four years. Later sent to Sierra Leone for one year. Finally to Seychelles, far away in the Indian Ocean. 1924, they brought him back when he died in Kumasi. He denied that Shanti not to come under British rule. That was the offense. Two, there was a war between the Shanti and the British. The Shanti were defeated, so the king was meant to pay 50,000 ounces of gold to the British government. He managed and paid half, and promised to pay the rest in bits. But the governor called Sir Freddie Horse and said he needed all the gold at once. That was the agreement. So Prince was arrested. So that's why they have plenty gold. Eh? Yes. Now our queen mother, the warrior Yaya Sato, was also captured by the British soldier in prison for one year. Later, Ezra to Sisha, she died over there. In the year 2000, they assumed the body brought to Ghana. She was buried in Kumasi, Jusu. She was protected at Golden Stool, Prempers Hall, and the Yaya Sato is home. Uh, we are now in the ballroom, conference hall, where they had meetings. Governor second balcony here. Uh, he stood here and addressed the soldiers down here. Now, me see here, na 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 mano. Ye ni ni ye ni mu. E wudi ya hon. What you say? Ye 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 meji with the nature. What you say? Now we mona ye cover ye no. Ye be catch there say we mona. Eh, sun sun boni wo. What you say? Anything we wo wo demo a. Eh, abo sun sun ti ye yi we mu nyana ye tubu ye. What you say? And I start to say Robert di na ye ye di abre ye in in the image I ain't me identify no. And no na na we were holding on to. That's the material na say ye di. Aha, you read piece of rubber no cranny at the end, and no cry, you are moving the free by a quarter. So, ain't you know, way no more about the abomination to us, way more about the demonic to us. But way more need the abode you are back. 
ye kwia ba na ye yusu ye so won ene ye kase se bonti ye yini nyina afirim na ye de roba ne ya penti ne enimu aye ntimi ade we cannot relate with it which as we don't have a relationship with it we no estatifi ha se ye yi chains na wo ha na pe chains na wo ha na be re e betiti e ebini ye a na ye yusu he pen drive so won we mu se si ano wo ko fa ko sen wo dem pe we will so for crab if you know but you say we do not fear ya ya be bomb fire man so i say i say ya be bomb fire man but we mu na ye papa no o mu communicate and you are be to us they communicated a lot of secret codes communications through we mu and am dey my but then no you say eh e ya ho mbo ni nti no eh Yesro but ye nwene no broba no wo bi fufura nim dia na enye wo kale tuntum ne dia no de na ef enti let's start from here said the dey am catch am no let's start from here this is a trap door Uh, deputy governor's residence the governor live on top can you have a look Sorry. officers mess danny hall yeah for the senior suites let's walk through plenty hmm. plenty How many windows do you have for the slaves? Zero. I'm not cast still. I'm not protect you, Omo. Now, uh, canals here. They were used mm. for defense when they fired and the ball could travel at a range of three kilometers. That's the fort, Jago Fort, built by the Dutch in 1665. For the soldiers, to tell the yeah, castle, yeah. yeah, soldiers barracks. That was where they used to defeat the Portuguese. The local people assisted them, so they drove them away, settled here, and they put soldiers there so that similar thing will not happen to them. The river is here, Benya River. It entered the sea, so after it's a harbor, yeah, Almina fishing harbor, yeah, the picture. This is a factory. Uh, up there you can and see uh, Starkey, Star Tuna. Star yeah. Now the first Almina township was here. Okay. Yeah, those who gave the land to the Portuguese, they live here. We call the village Almansan. Remember? Almansan. Yeah, yeah. Here, from here, from this small canal going. Yeah, township was here. So when the English came here, the locals were having arms. They asked them to hand over their arms. They refused, so British what? bombarded the village. What arms were they having? Guns. They got okay. Mm, yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. So, 35 years ago, the place was fenced. You can see the walls there mm-hmm. for future archaeological excavations. Okay. So First, the yeah, they bombed the place and they crossed the river. First, Alumina Township. You see. Hmm. Now there is a diagram down here at your back. This one. It's called compass. Okay. It it's shows directions. Okay. When you see what section you have the south, north, west. Okay. And the east for navigational purposes. It is also used as a sundial or clock. You can put long pole in the middle. Use the shadow to tell time. Okay. Is that what it Okay. So they were using that to determine where the ship is going. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So they go this way. They went to Nigeria. Yeah, that's why they came to South Africa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, going to Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Wow. Now the space down here it is called moats. M O A T. Outer moats and then inner moats. There is a drawbridge there. Soldiers fill them with water at night. They lifted the bridge so that enemies could not cross an attack or oh, defense. Oh, so they lift the bridge. Yeah, design with that. Look at the foundation of the castle. Yeah. yeah. It's sitting on the rock. So our fathers were too smart to sit on the rocks here. Yeah. 
here was thick forest, they live very close to the sea. They gave this land to them free. Now, this one was a resident for the Dutch commercial managers. He lived here. We are now in the second church, uh, the Dutch Reform Church. They put something here, Psalm 132, verse 14. Okay. 14 is written of the Zion, is the Lord's resting place. And this is his internal habitation. So they say God lives here. Nowhere else. Ah. And the church is on toward the female <laughs> dungeon. No, please take that, that lady. Please. Zion. Please capture that for me. Uh, <laughs> Psalm 132, verse 14. Okay. 14 is written up there. Up there, okay. Zion is the Lord's present place. Mm -hmm. And this is his internal habitation. Okay. So they say God lives here. Nowhere else. The church is on top of the female dungeon. Yeah, this room. If you go there, yeah. Uh, this is where they. This is where they. Yeah, yeah. And they don't think it's from God or the Exactly. So that's the concept of heaven and hell. Mm. It's so, so when the people are crying, they are not here in heaven. He used the Bible to promise Christ. Now, uh, the fort you saw up there, Jago Forks, Almina Castle, Cape Coast Castle, and Christian Ball Castle in Accra Fort in 1979 were designated as World Heritage Site by UNESCO. So there is a need for us to protect them for historical purposes. Thank you very much. We have come to the end of the talk. Again. I will mention my name. Now, the story here is not being told mm. to open old wounds, but as a lesson to mankind, so that what happened in the past will never, never again be repeated. Again, it's not a time to blame the white or the blacks, but an opportunity for us to forgive so that we make the whole world a better place to live. Kofi is my name, Robert Kuber, Narita Almina Castle. Thank nice you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you so much. We yeah. appreciate you so much. Thank you. I know the world is here. Yeah. We invite each and every one and to come and witness this. Even though know, you watch it, the feeling coming live is different. It's totally different from watching. So as you watch it, remember, one day visit your family. Tell them that our past. Let them know. As they read the books, they will feel it one on one. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you for coming. Nice thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Thank you too for you. taking us through the tour. Like we tell you, come and witness it for yourself. We are just here to add up to the education of our fathers so that you will know that before they were here, we were here. So that you will start seeking the wisdom for yourself. It's here. People are coming from the diaspora. They are coming to uh, feel it for themselves, see it for themselves, educate themselves. And then, like he said, this is not a time you are going to attack anybody. No. It's not for hate purposes. There's no need for that. Because our freedom is with us. We have the power to choose whether we want to be free or not. What will you call slavery in this argument? The true slavery that we have with us now is our programming. Programming that is in the form of advertisement for the benefit of somebody who does not factor you. Some of the programmings are someone wants to take you to God. Whatever you have on this earth, God doesn't need it. Therefore, you have to give everything to him. Give everything to God. Give everything and then go empty handed. Yet, the person who is leading you to God is trying to amass. Okay. This is one form of slavery. So, more like the church you go, the religious faith you belong to, you are giving it to God. You are building God's church. It's not about you again, it's God. Is it wrong for somebody to give somebody something to God? Is it wrong? 
It's not wrong, but God doesn't have any enemies among us. We are his children. So if he needs something, he should be able to come to me and tell me that I need it. Why do you send somebody to come and tell me that you need it? And then when I need something, you want me to go to somebody? But there's a representative for of God. Here. We are all representations of God. All of us. We are representations of God according to scripture. He said that God lives in everything that he has created. He's in his creations. So you are here to represent him in a way. I'm here to represent him in a way. It is only a privilege. And even in the Bible, we are told that the pastors are serving God, the kingdom of God. Is that not it? And we are the sons of God. Is that not it? So if I give you my flock and I say, take care of the flock, are you more important than the flock? Hmm. So why are we becoming less important? You always say that we are not supposed, you are not telling anybody to leave church. Mm -mm. Then what are you telling us? I'm telling you to reason. Reason as a God self. As somebody that you have come out of the same God that is being preached to you. Reason from that perspective. Stop looking at the interpretations people are giving to you. Start trying to understand what is written from within. So that when you are reading and something prompts you, your spirit prompts you. Most of the time they say, something has been telling me that this thing, BB, that BB is what I want you to focus on. So let me ask you. Mm-hmm. For example, let's open Genesis 1-1. Mm-hmm. I am reading, I've been reading the Gen- uh, John 3-16. Yeah. We repeated reading it every time. Mm-hmm. And I found that Jesus came to die for my sins. Jesus so didn't die for no, anybody's sins. I just want to get that. Mm-hmm. How do I read this one and get different meaning? It's the same thing. Okay, so let's, let's take it. For instance, Jesus came and he died for all of us, our sins. Okay. That's what the Bible says. Okay. Why did he die? Because God was in heaven. He had angels. One of them was stubborn. He rebelled against God. And God called Angel Michael. And then they sacked one third of the angels who were stubborn. And God said, go to the earth. And the moment he casted the devil to the earth, he said, human beings, you are doomed. Because that accuser that I could not contain in heaven. I have thrown the accuser to you on earth. But make sure you are able to overcome that accuser. If you don't overcome him, I will put you in hellfire. Does it make sense? And then he says, okay, because of the trouble he has caused, I'm going to call my son to come and die. What is the devil there doing? So you want God to kill the devil? Ah, If there's a way of bringing permanent peace, it's the devil that is causing the problem. To me, to me, if you look at this, Africans, don't we have a little bit for the white people? The white people is how to worship God. Mm. No, they didn't. Of course. Of course. Even the Bible. No, I don't believe Even the Bible is written to inform us how our fathers worshipped God through different forms of libations and offerings. It is our history. They didn't even write it. They edited it. They were not even there. They edited it. This is my content to just push you to talk. Yes. They edited it. So why would God send his son to come and die? He didn't die for us. Okay. He knew that the truth that he was sharing out there will attract enemies. Like we are doing now. Our enemies are too much. That is it. So he was ready to die just as our fathers in that cell of no return. Sacrifice that they were going to fight for the freedom of the people. Even though they knew they were going to die. Mm. So he wasn't sent to be killed. If he was sent to be killed, the same Bible said that he died from the foundations of the world. Before the world was established, Christ had already died. So he didn't die just on a cross. He said something and was on his point, pushed the truth that attracted enemies who killed him. So it's not like the salvation is not his blood saving you from you not sinning again. Open your Bible to John 17 Mm -hmm. and read from 1 to the end. He says that God gave the power to Jesus. To bring eternal life to the men or all men okay. or the world. Okay. 
This is eternal life. That they may know the truth. So eternal life, the salvation we are talking about, we don't even understand the salvation according to the same Bible that we have. What is the salvation? Salvation is knowledge to free you from mental slavery. Mm. That is why in John 17 he said, this is that eternal life that we said Jesus brought or Yeshua brought that they may know the truth of the only God. So, so it's like uh, what they were teaching at that time was not the truth. He brought the truth. He came to tell them that what you are hearing is not that the truth. That is it. But they were rather doing the laws of Moses which was in the Old Testament. You see, every dispensation, when we are gearing off the truth, there are people who come to wake us up okay. and it will continue to eternity. Because we are here in this realm to express an experience. Mm. You understand? Mm. So, that eternal life that we have been told that it is for you to live forever and not die. Nobody dies. No soul dies. Mm. We are originally eternal beings. We do not die. Mm. We put on body a suit to come here and work. Or to do something. Express our being. Mm. When you leave this body, you live on. Okay. And you can come in here with another body. So we don't die. We are eternal beings. So don't let anybody tell you that somebody died to give you eternal life. It's not true. Jesus the eternal not life, the, he's already here. His eternal life, the, that Yeshua is already here. He's a spirit that lives with that. He's a master like all other masters who have elevated the consciousness and are giving the transcendent consciousness to everybody. The universe has so many portals. The world has been laid with portals that feed us with awakening day in, day out. It depends on you. Do you want to be awakened? Do you want to receive the message? Because there's too much deception here. And the earth is turning. Once the earth turns, we realize that some of us will move out, others will come in. So apart from apart from the the real concept of me, uh, the the church mm -hmm. again is a part that you think that people are taking advantage of them and enslaving people the more. But like I said, it's not just about religion. Some of our culture system, some of our educational system, okay. are strategically laid down to enslave the minds. You see, enslave the minds. Example: We are all sitting in the same class. We are reading science, math, English. I am gifted in science, you are gifted in English. We write the same exams. You do well in English, I do well in math. science. Yes, yet you are failed. Because I did well in my science, which is my gift, more than you. Good. You are not a science student. Good. You are not talented to be a doctor. So that doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean that you are dumb or you are lazy or you are low, no. It only means that this is your fail. This is your talent. This is why you came. So you have to be graded according to your giftings and your ability. You cannot put a cheetah and a, a tortoise here for race and say that the tortoise is slow. It's because you are comparing the tortoise to the cheetah. You understand? That's why we are telling you people we need to free. Wrong comparison. Wrong comparison. You can never put tortoise here and tell them that they are slow. No. But they all run. That is how they operate. But when you bring a cheetah and you are comparing the cheetah to the tortoise, then you say the tortoise is slow. So in our education system, somebody who is a talented footballer cannot do calculation, cannot do math or science, or cannot speak good English. We, we say they are dumb. They are good for nothing. Bon. Why? Because you are comparing him with a, 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 somebody different. Something that is not in him. So it's all part of the... That is it. That is part of the mental slavery. To tell me that God will only speak to you and not speak to me, that's, that's robbery. Mm. We are all his children. So, so it's only the prophet that speaks. No Why should it be so? Cannot. Why should it be so? We should have about, everybody... Most people cannot hear. Why can't you hear? Because you are told that you cannot hear. Okay, so everybody can hear. If you have two, three children, if you give birth to three children, the firstborn, you teach that child how to speak a Khan language. The second, you teach how to speak Ga language. The third, you teach how to speak Ewe language. They will all speak according to how you program them and the language you speak to them. If you want to speak Ewe with the one who you taught to speak 
account language, she will not be able to understand because you have programmed the child to be in that way. Wow. wow. So everybody can hear just that we've not trained We've been programmed. Our yes. You've been programmed. So if anybody is watching, you want to learn how to be able to know himself, hear himself. Five things. Talk to me. Your five communication channels, open them. Your ears, your eyes, your nose, your tongue, and your sense of feeling. When you are even sitting in your room, you are not alone. You are with spirits. In your room? Yes. Because you are a spirit being. You have only manifested in the body through birth. Okay. The rest of them are all in the spirit realm. Mm. They will also come when there is a necessity. They will also jump in here and come and do what they are supposed to do. So, be alert, self-conscious and know yourself. Know that when you sneeze, one, two, three, it's a communication. How will I hear that communication? Through your nose. Uh -huh. hmm? When you feel that I can smell something, like, you know why when somebody dies, in the uh, gun tribe, we use something, we say, kowe, kowe. I don't know how they can say it. And they will say it, kowe. They will use it on the, on the body of the dead person. So that whenever that dead person enters any room, they will use that sense, sense as a symbol of communication that I am here. So anytime you hear any elderly person that will hear that smell, it knows that no, an ancestor has what? Entered. This is how they communicate with numbers. These are things that we have abolished. They communicate with numbers. You woke up in the morning, you saw your clock 717 or 712 11. or 730. You went into your office, you wanted to pick a book, you realized that that same number is popping up on the book. On your way home, you saw a car plate, a number plate, that has the same number. That is a communication. If they don't tell you, you will not be able to discern. You will block that communication channel. So even though they are talking to you in numbers, you don't know. Those who are strong spiritually are the people who don't talk. He said that Elijah was expecting God to go ahead of him. He said, go, I am with you. He, he felt thunder. He felt earthquake. He felt shaking his fire. And he said, God was not in any of them, but the silence. Silence. So meditation. So, so we, we, we are rather not helping the people in the church, in those religious bodies, to know these information about themselves. Yes, of course. So we are always feeding them rather. Mm -hmm. It's wow. a channel. It's communication. You have to develop it. How do I learn from your, your school? Do you just join. How will I join? <laughs> I'll give you my number. So you join on Telegram. Number. Uh -huh. When you join on Telegram, we put you in the beginner's class. We call it the mentorship group. So you are mentored, then you upgrade to grade one, grade two, grade three, and then we are done with you completely. Is it registered? It's registered. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's registered. Give us the number. Now we, we have the Asasi Ya Awakening Center. Okay. That's what we have here. Okay. It's registered. You can join us. Asasiya Awakening Center. Yeah, Asasiya oh. Awakening Center. Oh. Yes. It used to be Awake Mentorship. Okay. Now it's registered officially as Asasiya Awakening Center. So when you come, we mentor you. We oh. teach you. We guide you. We give you your ability to know yourself. And through that, you begin to discover your communication channels. Wow. Some people communicate through their ears. Okay. Some communicate even through their throat. Yes, yeah, some communicate. Okay. And then when you meditate for a while, you realize that you pick more communications than when you are in the noise. I get it. You pick I get more it. communication. So we train you how to communicate through the elements around you. I get it. Herbs, air, wind, water, everything. Everything around you. Tell me your number. Man. That's it. 0 2 Five zero eight zero. You can chat on Telegram or WhatsApp. Just request to join the Awaken community, and we will roll you on. We'll give you a link to join the class. See you now. Bye for now. We first visited the Cape Coast Castle. Here is Elbina. We've told the place, and I've really, really enjoyed my tour today. Hear me. Remember. Once in your lifetime, if you're an African or you love Africa, visit 
Elmina Castle. The history will blow your mind. You've gone through so much today. Emotions, feelings that I saw in there, that will shock you. This is Jansa TV. We are telling the African story the African way. We don't want anybody to tell us. We have decided to witness ourselves and to give you the right information. This is the castle. The biggest and the oldest castle as we had. As you can see, I went through and I've really enjoyed my stay here. Yes, I came with my dear sister, Mama Evelyn Watson Annan, to witness this. So much to share with you. I know you enjoy this beautiful episode. Remember to subscribe, share the channel, comment, like, and subscribe. That is what we do. Nyansan TV, mysteries what we bring your way. I told you, remember, come here once, come and witness with your family, the children, let them see what we have seen today. Let them not just read the stories, but rather come and witness it. Then when they are writing or they are talking about it, they will tell it the right way to the next generation. Bless you so much for joining me. Remember, it's a family. Join this family. Join this family. Become part of the awakening process. Bless you so much. See you now. Bye.